Hi everyone, I'm KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff, and a lot of you are questioning what this winter, 2016 through 2017, is going to bring. Now we talk about meteorological winter, which is December, January, and February. So we're going to take a look at some of the winter folklore, how it's done in the past. We also recently cut open the persimmon seeds. We'll show you what they got, and also we'll take a look at the Farmer's Almanac forecast. First of all, we're going to start off with the official NOAA winter weather. Weather outlook. Now you can see this red highlighted area right here. This is where Northwest Arkansas is located within this map. And let me explain what you see here. Now, what NOAA is leaning towards because of a La Nina, which typically favors a dry and mild winter, they are calling for an above 33% chance that we will see a warmer than normal winter for December through February. Now, when we look at precipitation amounts, we're pretty much right at the equal chances, meaning there's no tilt either one way or the other, whether it's going to be wetter or drier. But we are closer to the drier, which is definitely definitely favoring a La Nina weather pattern. That is where the jet stream flows from the Pacific Northwest down to the Southeast and a lot of the cold snowy weather remains across the northern United States. Now we cut open the persimmon seeds and if you haven't heard about this before, persimmon fruit has seeds in them and if you cut them in half you get three different types of seeds. The far left is the knife, the middle is the fork and the bottom is the spoon. So this is what each one of those seeds represents. A knife means a cold icy winter where you have the wind cutting through you like a knife, which is how the knife becomes a, a part of the persimmon seed. Then you take a look at the fork, which is a mild winter. That means light snow, minor accumulation, nothing major. And for all you snow lovers, you want to see spoons. That means a harsh, snowy winter with heavy snow and lots of shoveling. Now, we cut open the persimmon seeds. We did get some mixed signals. However, you will notice that right there definitely does look like a spoon and so uh, we've had a lot of spoons we did have a few forks and also a few knives as well now I want to take a look here at some of the past winter forecast and how the persimmon seeds did now 2015 into 2016 was an exception and I'll talk about that in just a bit but here's 2012 through 2013 remember this is December January and February mostly forks and believe it or not our winter no heavy snow however it did snow May 3rd 2013 you might remember that that was the latest official snowfall ever recorded in the state of Arkansas so if we look at the winter 2013 to 2014 and I remember when we cut open those persimmon seeds we had a lot of spoons and look at how major of a winter this was in fact at the beginning of the month every single month December January February and March you had major snow happening every time, uh, and including a thunder, sleet, and snowstorm that happened. There you can see the averages and the event summaries, and you can pause that if you want to see more about that. So if we look at that 2013-2014 winter recap and how it compares with previous winters, well, it was the fifth coldest on record and also the 12th highest snowfall on record with 14.1 inches officially recorded at Drake Field are normal that we get at Drake Field, which is the climatological site, is just about 9 inches. And our normal mean temperature is 37.6. Now, if we check out the persimmon seeds from 2014 through 2015, we got some mixed signals. Now, notice that we've got a little bit of knives and spoons at the bottom and a lot of forks as well. And if we look at the winter of 2014-2015, it was a mild start, but snow did happen in the middle of February. However, if we look at this year, 2016 into 2017, for that winter forecast, the middle row is the spoons, which is the majority. We do have a little bit of mixed signals with a few knives and some forks. So that kind of sums up the persimmon forecast. It's calling for a snowy winter. Now, last year, the persimmon showed a lot of spoons, and it didn't snow a lot. Let's take a look at some other winter folklore because there is not just the persimmon seeds. In fact, if we look at the number of fogs in August, which equals the number of snows in winter, and believe it or not, there's over 20 different of nature's signs of predicting a harsh winter. But if we look at the number of fogs in August, of course Drake Field can fog up a lot where the other places don't really have a lot of fog. You have five dates, August 16th, 21st, 28th, 30th, and 31st. But if we look at the number of widespread fogs where you have fog across the entire area of Northwest Arkansas, well, 
you have August 16th is the only date. So that means uh, winter folklore is calling for a little bit of a mild winter. Now let's see how well the number of fogs in August versus the number of snows in winter actually work with some of the previous winters. So in 2006, we had four days of a thick fog. And when we talk about thick fog, we're talking about visibility less than a quarter of a mile. You notice five major weather systems. We also had uh, three days and two days in 2007, 2008. There you can see four major winter systems, four major snowstorms. Uh, a January ice storm, that was the January 26th to the 28th, 2009 ice storm. Now when we're talking about the August, the month, so 2009, that would be the winter for 2009 to 2010. We did have a white Christmas that year in 2010 and 11. This is where the problem happens. 2010, there were no days of fogs, but you might remember the super storm, the super snowstorm of February 9th, where we got over two feet of snow or just about two feet of snow along highway 412 so that one the fogs didn't really line up but the other ones well in 2013 was a harsh winter five major systems and so the number of fogs works pretty well although there are some exceptions let's look at the hot first week in august which equals a harsh winter that's what winter folklore says if you're really hot that first week in august you have a harsh winter well our average mean temp was 78 degrees uh, for the first week in August. When you look at everything, that's the high and the low combined. Now the average high temperature is 90 degrees. We had an average mean which is slightly warmer than what we should be, which is 78 at 81.1. So slightly warmer kind of favors, not so harsh of a winter. And let's check out some of the past uh, winters looking at that winter folklore. So we're kind of doing some fact checking if you will 97 was the average high temperature five major systems so 2006 did line up and 2007 we had four winter systems two in march and that was a little bit above normal look at some of the other uh, ones though 89 degrees which is a little below the average we had six snows including a white christmas now the very hot years of 2011 and 2012 yeah, those were extremely hot summers, and we had just a little bit of light snow in 2012, so that didn't line up with the winter folklore. And in 2013, you had five heavy snows, and if we look at the next uh, previous winter, so 2014, we were kind of mild, and that was a mild weather, uh, mild winter. 2015 was a light snow with no accumulation, and that was a little below the average. And in 2016, our final, final winter folklore that we're going to look at is the woolly worm caterpillars. And so basically this says a thin brown line equals a cold, snowy winter. Well, we've got a picture from John Leachman uh, earlier this month, and that doesn't have any black line that doesn't have any black at all it's all brown so again the thinner the brown line the harsher the winter if you have it all brown that might mean you don't get any snow but that doesn't really uh, go well with the persimmon seeds so everything's kind of all over the place and coincidentally there are two farmers almanacs and this is the last thing we're going to look at 2016 into 2017 mild and dry you'll see northwest arkansas uh, in fact, a good portion of the country is uh, not seeing a harsh winter. But then there's another Farmer's Almanac. This is the old Farmer's Almanac, and you can see the way that the, uh, uh, the book cover looks like. So that's the one you might be more accustomed to. And then you've got the Farmer's Almanac, which is the orange cover, totally different. And look at that forecast, chilled to the bone and wet. It's completely opposite of the old Farmer's Almanac. So... Needless to say, there's some conflicting information with the winter folklore, but to sum it up, I personally think because of a La Nina year and also uh, all the other things kind of lining up, I don't think we see a whole lot of snow. Now, we will see more snow than we did last year, which was none, because an El Nino favors very little snow. So it all depends on the Arctic Oscillation. There's multiple factors that go into winter forecasting. It's not just La Nina. But to sum it up, I think we see an average winter. I think we will be a little bit warmer than normal, but I think we will get one accumulating snow and that will be a little bit more. We'll see what happens, but that's the latest from your weather authority. And of course, we'll be fact checking after winter to see how this winter forecast pans out. Enjoy the snow. If we get some, go sledding and have a good time. This has been Dan Scoff with a winter weather forecast for 2016 into 2017.